Hi everybody, this is Justina with Justina Tea Handmade. In today's video, I'm going to share with you this idea for what I'm calling is the essential uh, pouch. This is a little pouch created uh, completely out of uh, clear or see-through vinyl. Um, I divided it into three packets, but that can be customized to your liking and um, this little pouch it's a great addition when you travel and that's why i created it for myself because i i like to have my items organized when i travel and also i'm intending to just keep it stacked in my cosmetic bag so when it's time to pack i can just grab it and don't have to think about stacking it so uh, this was um, just my idea out of necessity and i wanted to share it with you uh, this pattern is free for everybody so you can just uh, grab a copy of it from the description box below there is a link uh, that will uh, take you to download a pdf file which includes the printable uh, template for this little pouch as you can see there's really not much uh, supplies needed it's just a small piece of uh, see-through or clear vinyl and two sets of snaps uh, you can use the plastic snaps that are easily accessible on amazon in a set or you can use uh, a metal snaps uh, whatever you have on hand if you are a returning viewer to my channel thank you so much for taking the time uh, to watch another of my videos if this is the first time you came across my channel uh, welcome and i hope you're gonna enjoy this video if you do please consider subscribing and if you would like to be in a loop about a new out upcoming uh, projects uh, you can join my facebook group or follow me on instagram uh, links to both are in the description box below and now if you want to see how fast this little essential pouch comes together please keep watching to start our project we're gonna cut out our clear vinyl piece based on the provided uh, template uh, and prep our supplies so we have our clear vinyl panel a cut out uh, i'm gonna be using polyester thread this is gutenman mera 70 and uh, i'm gonna be using the plastic snaps for the closure and the set comes with the tool to uh, set it. You can find it easily on Amazon. So that uh, that's all our supplies that are needed to complete the project. So now we can start working on our little pouch. To start the project, we're going to take our clear vinyl panel A and we're going to place it wrong side up on the table. So you want to make sure if you have a print that has a right or wrong side that the right side is facing uh, your table and you're gonna fold the end with the uh, inside curve on the end and you're gonna bring it up by four inches so you wanna refer to your cutting mat and bring the end of the uh, short edge up to the four inch mark so mine is right here i'm gonna clip it and when you have that prepped you're gonna take it to the machine and you're gonna top stitch along this uh, whole edge with the one eighth of an inch seam allowance and 3.5 stitch length if you wanna trim the seam allowance after you sew it you want to maybe embellish it with the scalloped edge which is what i'm probably gonna do i'm gonna increase my seam allowance to one fourth of an inch so i'm gonna be sewing along this edge with the one fourth of an inch seam allowance and 3.5 stitch length and then i'm gonna trim uh, my uh, edge with my scallop pinking shears now that i have my pouch sewn along the, this edge uh, i'm gonna trim my seam allowance to give it a nice scalloped edge now 
now that my seam allowance is trimmed i'm gonna split my little pouch packet into three uh, smaller packets uh, this is up to you you can leave it like this just install your snaps and you have little cute see-through pouch ready to go i want to be able to have my supplies organized so i'm gonna split it in three i'm gonna create two small packets on the side and leave one larger packet in the middle and to do that i'm gonna use the ruler or i can refer to the uh, measurement on my cutting board but because i can really draw a line on my clear vinyl i'm just gonna use a regular scotch tape to mark my seam lines you can use washi tape that's probably a better choice because it's less sticky so i'm gonna measure inch and a half from each side and place a, a piece of tape so i know i'm gonna be sewing on the uh, outside edge of the tape and now that i have my seam lines uh, marked i'm gonna take my project back to the machine and i'm gonna sew just outside of my uh, scotch tape line to create uh, three packets in my pouch you're going to be sewing with a 3.5 stitch length making sure you are back stitching well on the beginning and on the end uh, obviously now that our pouch uh, has three separate packets the last thing to do is to create our closure to do that uh, we're gonna install our plastic snaps so you're gonna prep two sets of your snaps you're gonna have four cups two female parts and two male parts and the tools to install your uh, snaps and i'm gonna install my snaps on the uh, seam line just making sure i'm not gonna puncture the thread so i'm just gonna use the seam line as a guide um, but when i'm gonna punch my hole to install my snap i'm gonna make sure i'm not uh, cutting the thread also because they're gonna be on the seam line i'm gonna install my snap through uh, all two layers uh, if you decided not to split uh, your pouch you just have one big packet just install the snap on the top part of your pouch now i'm gonna measure the place where to install my snaps like i said i'm gonna be uh, putting them on the seam line and we know that the seam line is at inch and a half and it's going to be uh, inch and a half from uh, from each side and three inches up so this is the place where my snap gonna go Now that we have the female parts of the snaps installed, we're gonna fold our flap, make sure everything is nice and straight, and install the first male part of the snap. And now your little pouch is ready to use. My little essentials organizing pouch is ready to use. I have my three packets exactly how I wanted. I wanted to have some Q-tips, some cotton swaps, and my nail file. And now I can have it nicely organized and is easily visible in my cosmetic bag. You can just pop it in and you're ready to go. 
I hope you enjoyed this project and that you're gonna give it a go. Uh, don't forget to grab a copy of this free pattern from the description box below. And if you do, create uh, one or multi multiple of those essential uh, organizing pouches. Please make sure to share your creation with me on social media. Uh, you can share it on Facebook, um, just join my Facebook group or on Instagram and links to both are in the description box below. Till the next time.